Welcome to these additional episodes of Your Pregnancy Week by Week. We're going to provide information about things you may want to know about before baby's birth and in the weeks and months after baby arrives. Dr. Glade Curtis and I hope these discussions will help you and your partner settle into your new roles as parents. The information in these episodes is a general informative guide. None of the information we provide is intended to replace countermand or conflict with the advice given to you by your own doctors. Always follow his or her advice. Use the information you learn here as a starting place in your dialogue to help you put your life with baby and after pregnancy concerns, questions, or interests into words. Each episode will cover one topic. Our discussions are intended to help guide you through the many new experiences awaiting you. So let's get started on this discussion. We're going to talk about daycare centers. You may be considering a daycare center for your baby where many children are cared for in a larger setting. Centers vary in the facilities and activities they provide, the amount of attention they give each child, group sizes, and child care philosophy. A daycare center is usually a licensed facility with several trained teachers, classrooms, and nurseries separated by age. There may be a registration process, a calendar that includes hours of operation, and an educational curriculum. Inquire about training for each care provider or teacher. Some facilities hire only trained, qualified personnel, or they train them and provide additional training. Some child care centers do not accept infants. They may focus more on older children. If the center accepts infants, the ratio of caregivers to children should be about one adult to every three or four children up to age two. Don't be fooled by appearances. Even the cleanest, brightest place is useless without the right kind of care provider. Check out the center thoroughly. Visit it by appointment, then stop in unannounced a few times. Meet the person in charge and the people who will care for your child. Ask for the names of parents whose children are currently being cared for there. Call and talk to these parents before making a final decision. Infant care is very specialized. Be sure the place you choose can meet baby's needs. A baby must be changed and fed, but she also needs to be held and interacted with. She needs to be comforted when she's afraid. She needs to rest at certain times each day. We've created a checklist you can use to evaluate a child care center. When you're evaluating the child care for baby, keep in mind the following. Is the place clean and childproof? Is the play area fenced in? Look at equipment and toys to make sure they're safe, clean, and well-maintained. Observe how the child care providers interact with the kids. Are they actively involved? Ask about the turnover rate of employees. See how the director interacts with his or her staff. Be sure all caregivers have been checked out thoroughly by the center before they were employed. Are visits to your child permitted at any time, or are you asked to come only at certain times so you don't disrupt routines? Check snacks to see if they are nutritious and prepared in a clean kitchen or prep area. What happens in cases of fire, flood, or other natural disasters? What plans are in place for a lost, sick, or injured child? Are caregivers CPR and first aid certified? What is the center's accreditation? This may sound like a lot to do, but taking these steps will help protect your baby. It's what being a responsible parent is all about. You may be wondering if it's okay to put your child in daycare. There is some research that being in a group environment can have positive benefits. The regular routine of daycare may provide your child security and structure. A child learns to use social and emotional skills to help her deal with problems. A child is also exposed to a wide variety of germs and illnesses, Regular exposure to different types of bacteria from many sources helps build a stronger immune system. A daycare center may meet your needs and babies. Check them out. 
If you'd like to read about baby, check out our book, Your Baby's First Year Week by Week. We cover many subjects dealing with baby in a weekly format, and each week is a fairly quick read. If you want to find out more about this podcast, visit our website, yourpregnancyweekbyweek.com. If you're looking for something specific, check out the podcast topics list. Follow us on social media for updates, new podcast episodes, and important information. Visit Your Pregnancy Week by Week, all one word, on Facebook and Instagram.